is my baby mama She be riding caddy And she always looking for sugar daddies It's a two-way trick, a two-way trick She wasting up your characters, ain't talking about shit Early in the morning, my two way is jumping With the petty with some boys that ain't want nothing Hey, Carl, we know how to get it back Got no time for no what you doing, Missy Just going to the bathroom, two way on the TV Come back to Miss my baby daddy, trying to do Miss Fuck you mean Miss, it's my baby daddy, he ain't no Miss Fuck Fuck Chicken, he Miss, you ain't mad, is you? Miss Choices Miss the chat, bitch, you already know Oh, they just saying it's your girl that chat mine. What it do? What it do? Okay. <laughs> well, Chad, I see that you. I, I noticed that you spell your name with L A. Why is that? Cause it's it's pronounced like Lil Chat. But you know, back when I was growing up, I saw a whole lot of Lil everybody. Yeah, Lil Kim. Yeah. Lil Noah. Yeah, Lil Fly. You had Lil everybody. So I was like, you know what? I'm Lil Chat, but I'm gonna spell it different and. I spelled the L-A instead of L-I-L, but it's still the same thing. So, little chat, little chat, little chat is all me. Okay, okay. Well, tell me this. How long have you been uh, in the music game? Oh, man. You talking about professional or in my own bathroom world? Well, <laughs> well, what, well let's say this. When did you know that you said, hey, I got some talent. I can do this. I was in third grade. Um... I was going to school, you know, we had Black History Month, and um, I was like, we was in third third grade at Staff Elementary, and our teacher was like, we need to write something about Black History. So I was like, okay, well, sure, I'm going to write a rap. But I had an oldest brother, rest in peace, D, rest in peace, Curtis, that's the name. I had an older brother that um, was like, oh, you want to write a rap? Let me write you a rap. So I was like, okay. So he wrote me a little rap, and I learned it. So I went to school, it was about Dr. Martin Luther King, and I said it in front of all the folks, was like, oh my, she bumping. Oh, did I not think I was a rapper? You couldn't tell me nothing. Matter of fact, I still remember on here. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to ask. Oh, okay, y'all know I don't give a damn, so if I fuck up, goddamn it, this is third grade shit. <laughs> all right, here y'all. Dr. Martin Luther King, in days, we was like this, yeah. like, I do it like I did. Dr. Martin Luther King, this very day, all the people just love him for what he say and whatever he say. He says it out loud, his voice you know, just draws a crowd. See, it all started out not long ago. Dr. Martin Luther King, you was a kid, you didn't know. He had a dream, and his dream came true. He was fighting for the rights for me and you. He got bottles and bricks thrown in his face, but Dr. Martin Luther King never ran away. He's the greatest of the greatest. He's the king of all. He's Dr. Martin Luther King standing brave and tall. So when you left the classroom, tell me, what was the first song you said, I gotta go in the booth and put this on the track? We used to do a lot of karaoke uh, recording at home, so he was like the engineer, and I used to rap, and he used to record me. And then all of a sudden, my cousin, I got my cousin DJ Gang Gang and Big Pat and him, and we recorded, what's the album? Ultimate Revenge. It was called Big Girl Thing then. So for people that don't know, the Ultimate Revenge album was my first album originally recorded, even though it came out after Murder, She Spoke. So the Ultimate Revenge album was what I first recorded, and then I linked up with Paul and them, and did Murder, She Spoke, one, and a whole lot of more other fun shit. Okay, speaking of Paul, did you go looking for them? Did they come looking for you? How did, how did that come together? The crazy part about it is like, we all in each other's childhood, you know? Uh, I was never in the group, but I always been there. The same amount of time as everybody, you know. You had Coop, you had Lord Infamous, you had Crunchy, you got Boo, you had uh, I was there Fly Black, you know. It was still all the same era. Back in Miss Style days, I was there. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, well yeah. Uh, I met uh, Juicy through a rapper by the name of Lil Nord. I don't know what to do. Um, we was going to summer school together, and he knew I could rap. He had guy Juicy my number, and Juicy hit me up. It was way, 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 way back in the days. I could promise you probably about 1992 back in the days. And um, 
He's like, I heard you can rap, I heard you can rap. And I was like, yeah, I can rap. He was like, let me just spit some. And I was like, wait a minute, my mama never heard, you know? And I was like, he's like, oh, I'm going to call you back. You know, he hung up. And I was like, damn, I just missed my chance, you know? Thinking I didn't miss my chance. So next thing you know, he ended up about two hours later calling me back. He was more calm down. He was like, hey, what's up? How you doing? You know, I'm calling you back. I heard you can rap. And I was like, well, I'm ready to say the rap now. You know, he was like, okay. So I went outside this time when I said and I said to rap, he was like, yeah, I'm going to get you on something. So the first thing that he got me on was uh, Juicy J's Greatest Hits. Or was it Juicy J Bobby Seven? And it was me and Crunch, uh, Pop Pop till you drop. So yeah, I got back. It was way 1992-ish. So, you know, a lot of people be saying that I wasn't in the group. They only this, this, that, 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 that. It don't matter. We all been there the same amount of years. You know what I'm saying? And, and him and Tad Scamp got two bumping bitches. So let that there be known. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about three six Marvin because when I was born down three six Marvin, him and Tad Scamp, we all with the same shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you got guys to boom, you got a little chat. Smack shit out you. I saw him, he smacked shit out nigga three times about me. Hey, if you know me, you remember Cedric, you know, Big Cedric. Holla at my brother, Big Cedric, that's so heavy. You now I got him and I got my brother, Woman. And then, of course, I'm the baby. You know, I got some other brothers, you know, brothers with different mothers, but I love them just like I love my other brother. You know, you got Sergeant Mac, you got KT, you got so many, you know what I'm saying? So. But they're my mother's songs right there. Well, uh, for those that don't know, he had an accident last year. Um, he was like, he fell out the truck. His kidneys had gave out on him. And, um, you know, we really didn't know that that was what was going on with him. We was on our way out of town to Nashville. So by the time we got to Nashville and got back home, he couldn't move. He was like, you can't move, but like, come on, you know, my brother's scrum. Matter of fact, you know, this is shirt, so y'all support it. We sell them $10, all colors, all sizes. I get y'all the info later. This guy, I am scrum. Now, my brother's scrum. He done been shot five times. He done, I mean, uh, y'all not get sensitive when y'all get to my woman. He done been shot five times. He done been cut seven times. Like, Cross the throat, neck, everywhere. He was born with one appendix. I didn't see he didn't been in car wrecks. I didn't see my brother go through a whole lot, a whole lot. And it just seemed like, you know, when he when when he took that fall right there, I just knew he was gonna get back up. I knew he was gonna get back up any day, you know, any day. But it's been like a year, three months. Pretty much, and uh, he's paralyzed. He's paralyzed from the, thank you. You know, uh, he, he, he paralyzed from the neck down. You know, he, he, he can't move nothing but his head. And uh, everybody know what me. Y'all keep me y'all prayers, you know. He, he, he scrum on his yeah. neck and say, I don't. He, uh, he's still rapping. I got our wells coming in filming him. Making sure he, you know, still doing what he do. I know one day he gonna walk up out that bed. He gonna get up. You know, y'all, like I was saying, one day he gonna walk up out that bed, you know. Um, I had people call me like, man, it's your brother. I, I, somebody hit me up on Facebook. It's your brother, I, somebody told me this little chap, brother, he cut up in the street, you know. And next thing you know, I get a phone call. Hey, what up, chat? What up? I thought somebody just said you cut up. Yeah, I just whooped nigga ass though. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas better be glad he paralyzed. Cause they already know he gonna whoop a nigga ass. 
ass. They know you gonna whoop a nigga ass though. God damn it, but why he down? I'm a whoop a nigga ass for him. So you know, it's all good, man. I love my brother. Man, get well soon, whoa, man. For real, for real. Cause you already know, little sis need you. Little sis love you. Little sis ain't trying to be strong for you. Real talk, man. Get up out that bed, dog. You go get up out that bed. This shit finally over. It's over. Man, I don't know where to be sad or glad. Fuck your favorite DJ. DJ highlight, pussy. You said back in the day, you know, y'all all came up. You were crunchy. Uh, infamous and so I'm hearing a lot of Memphis unity was it more unified back in 92 as opposed to now and where do you think the change came about it was Memphis Unity, but it still wasn't Memphis Unity because, you know, back then we used to be gangster like that. You used to have DJ Squeaky, everybody said DJ Paul, you used to have Skinny Pimp, you used to have so much. It, it, it really wasn't no Unity because, you know, back then everybody was doing their own mixtape, their own gangster walking, their own based out stuff, and now it still ain't no Unity. I don't know, this is Memphis motherfuckers, but one thing about it, we all gonna ride together. You know what I'm saying? No matter. I don't know. I, if the question is, do I think Memphis got some unity? No, I do not. You know what I'm saying? Memphis don't got no unity. But I do know Memphis motherfuckers love one another. And we're going to ride together regardless. We can be in a room and you got Memphis motherfuckers over here. You might got another set of motherfuckers over there. And I might just smack this bitch the other day. But goddamn, if you fuck with anybody on this side right here, this whole side going to be at y'all motherfucking ass. So we ain't got no unity when it comes to being successful. But when it comes to beating the motherfucking ass or getting into some shit, we unified. You heard me? <laughs> Real shit. Chat talk. Well, we're gonna we gonna switch the vibe for a minute. We're gonna we gonna go into look chat the grown woman side. Mm -hmm. So for a lot of people been hitting me up and they, they wanna know. Is chat single? <sighs> <laughs> is chat single? I'm taking. You know, you said that move taking where you taking, I'm taking. I'm taking, taking. So that's the answer. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking like the movie taking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so I, you know, just by my history of knowing a little about chat, you know, I know that um, your mother as well as being a female rapper. So tell me how life is being not only a female rapper but a mother as well. It was very difficult because you know I only got one son. Uh, he's 19 now, thank God. But then again. Lord hear me. Um, you know, I was on the road a lot, but I still was a mother. I still was there for him, you know. It took him a long time to adapt what was really going on, because we used to go places, go to the mall, then shut the mall down. We would go to the skating ring, people crying us around it. You know, he used to be looking so scared, he didn't understand what was going on, but he grew up in it, and you know, he got used to it, and I had to adapt to being a mother, being a rapper, and at the same time, he had friends that used to come home and spend a night, and they really don't know chat. They know me as the mother. But they always be like, man, I bet your mama's so cool. I bet she did that day. But then they'll see, oh, no, she better worse than our mom. <laughs> Getting on, on our ass. So, you know, so I still had to be mama and all the time, and I thank God for that because he graduated in 11th grade. Just for y'all that don't know, he graduated a year and six months earlier, you know what I'm saying? So, matter of fact, I got a song called Duke. Look it up on YouTube. It's a true story. Got the video coming soon. Check it out. So, is he following in your footsteps? Is, you know, tell us a little about Duke. And you know what the greatest part about it? Y'all can look on uh, YouTube. I got a couple of videos, and I have been trying to get him to do it so young. And he really wanted in. He just wanted to be normal. He wanted to live a normal life. And, hang out and be normal and in the way he end up seeing you still not normal. They still gonna say they gonna do chat song. You know, at the end of the day you still talk to say somebody kind of, I know you got some money, chat your mama. You know, so it's like you still ain't being normal, but now he wanna rap. Okay. And I'm glad he came home, he work a job, he came home, he's like, my mama all I work and all I think about this rap. I said, now you ready. You ready. You finally ready. And you know, I, I, I wish him well. We're gonna make it do. Song of a Legend coming soon. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, 
So now that we've got over the mama thing, so apparently, you know, you had your son and then you got got taken. Yeah, taken. Okay. So I'm taken. Uh, Wait, uh, let me let me shout him out. Okay. Hey baby, I'm taken. Take. Take. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, so for all for all the guys that still don't care that you take it, <laughs> we we're gonna play this game. The perfect date with look chat. Girl, you know these, these dudes don't care about me being taken. They're like, I'm taking They don't care. The end of the day, I'm taking. But the perfect date with me would be uh, a bottom and a Chevy's, of course. I ain't going to even say a restaurant. I want you to cook. Cook me some nice real bad steaks. Okay. And some broccoli with cheese. With some mashed potatoes. Chop me some onions up in the mashed potatoes. Give me some garlic bread, have my wine on chill, my little wine glass. You know, if you're in my house, put my pillows up. You know, turn on Empire or something. Okay, we good. Well, you know, I know you rap and all, but you know, when you're trying to have that quiet time with that special man, what you gonna put in the CD? What's gonna take you there? What's gonna relax you and make you feel grown woman? I, I gotta, I gotta keep it real, cause it's like, y'all know I kill my gal, but Trey Songz don't make out with baby these days. I'm just gonna keep my honey, you know what I'm saying? Trey, Trey Songz, don't get you there. I kill it, I love you, that's my favorite, even number one. But right now, Trey Songz gonna make out with baby. Okay, slow motion. <laughs> Dad, get money, bitch, that's gangsta nice shit, that's all I know. Bitch, we know all the game, we know all the slime, and we'll take your mind. Type, type of bitches that'll teach a nigga what he don't know about everything. Hey. Take me from Murder She Spoke One to Murder She Spoke Two. Well, we on Murder She Spoke Two, which was people say it was long overdue, but I think it was right timing, cause it's just right for my age group, my mind frame. You know, it's straight up highway music. If you want to hit the highway, put that Murder She Spoke Two in, it's gonna get you there. Uh, it's still the same chat, still the same street, but it's just a grown or chat. It's just a grown or smaller street, you know. Beast mode. When I say beast mode, what oh, you say beast mode. I just wanna go raw. <laughs> beast mode. DJ Highlight put it out. Shout out DJ Highlight. What it do? Um, it's on live mixtape. I have features on there by my guy Eddie Kane, Check Man. Uh, this production and also a feature on it. Uh, Nasty Nado, my brother Womack was on there. Young Jock was on there. Um. You know, Snooty Wild, my guy, Frazier Boy White, my little fan right there. And it is what it is, Beast Mode. And uh, make sure y'all check out that Freaky Tales that my guy Track Man produced on there. It's going down. Yeah. Okay, the best little chat that's on live mixtape as well. I got a shout out DJ Boss Chick and uh, DJ Young Sean. Virginia Memphis, that album, y'all got to get it. Y'all got to look out for Virginia. Because for one, we put it down for Virginia and Memphis. So make sure y'all cop that. It's on iTunes right now. Virginia and Memphis, little chat and her names. Cop it. Man, I man, I love Pandora. So for you to be able to see a little chat station, little chat radio, and let me know. They play the three six, they play the project pack, they play the uh whoever in my A ball MJG, but it's a hard ass station, so y'all make sure y'all fuck with Lil Chat Pandora. Well one thing about it, Lil Chat I ain't stopping. That's for sure. That's what she ain't gonna do. And I also got a project that I'm dropping with Big Rig and T. It's going to be called Gangsta Love. For those that don't know, uh, Big Rig, he got a project coming out. OG's the Memphis, him and Al Capone. So, shout out them. And, uh, shit, that's the label that I'm connected with. You got Diamond Does and Slash Big Rig and T. So, y'all be looking out for it because we're going to be making moves and we're going to be doing projects together. And we're going to make it happen. Diamond Does and Memphis on the way back. Damn, I miss that Memphis shit. Smoke fast, smoke fast. Still pippin' on the beach. Damn, I miss that Memphis shit.
Yes, uh, you know, we come to the end of the interview, so I just want to let y'all know, you know, your girl been working, I'm still out here, I rap for a living, you know what I'm saying, so y'all keep supporting your girl, make sure y'all cop that merch she spoke to in stores right now, Beast Mode online right now, uh, Virginia Memphis in stores right now, shout out her Uh, we got the Unleash coming soon, we got the Track Man, Living Example shit. We got the DJ Paul light up the pole up. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. He got the uh, solo project called Master Evil, so y'all stay tuned. Uh, my brother, Get Well Womack, he coming soon, Womack the Omen. Sizzle, the Parker too. Y'all make sure y'all keep in tune with him. My brother, Surgeon Mac. Shout out my guy, Paulo. Shout out my guy, Chico, you know, one of my riders. Shout out my son, Duke. Shout out my baby, Nick. Now just playing. <laughs> Lisha Cooper. So, you know, we just working. Shout out Coosie, nigga. Free CB, you know what I'm saying? It's our little recipes, Lord Infamous. Get well soon, won't make. What it do, Big City? Rest in peace, Nick Scarpo. Well, I would just like to say I thank y'all for supporting me all these years. I ain't gonna tell y'all how old I am, but y'all know I'm older than y'all ass. Because I've been rapping just about as long as y'all been living. But at the same time, I thank y'all for supporting me. And I am one of the rappers that know that it is a privilege to have people like you all to support me because without y'all, there is no me. You cannot be a star or you cannot be a superstar or you cannot be a celebrity without the fans' support, without the fans' love. As long as y'all support me, I'm coming. Much love. <laughs> Type of bookings, y'all can hit me up. Little chat bookings, L A C H A T B O O K I N G A. Uh, damn, this the man shit is. L A. God damn it. Said, this shit ain't for fun, and it's worth to my son. Plenty shit we made it through. You my backbone, and now we did one. Turn up in this bitch, pockets full of cup, full of God, full of that gas. Y'all hoes ain't smoking. Cushed in my lungs, still counting up rats. I don't know about you, but.